Welcome to Other Dog Secrets. Thank you very much for watching. Um, why volunteer for the Secrets? So let's have a little look at what the uh, what we actually do. This is from the George Green School website. So we go to the Victoria Docks. We go to Dock and Stadium Water Sports Centre. We sail. We windsurf. We canoe. Um, in the winter, we parade. We do courses. So all this stuff we do um, locally, we train the cadets, we train the cadets, this is Makita who's now an instructor, we've got Jack as an instructor, we've got Olivia as an instructor, we've got other cadets on the line, so enrichment and outside. So, for this to run, we need adult volunteers. Go to ask, why? Okay, so the main reason to volunteer is to make this happen. If we didn't have volunteers, none of this would happen and we wouldn't get on the water. What's the benefits of volunteering? Meet like-minded people. See young people enjoy themselves. Facilitate the, uh, the young people to get the enrichment. And for yourself, the Sea Cadets offer free training, free DBS, free courses. And also the opportunity to go and meet people that you wouldn't meet before. Fantastic. Um, if you say yes, I send you a pretty dry email um, explaining about the cadets, what we do and what we're looking for. And a link for the videos here which I've shown you uh, from the George Green website. What do we need? In the winter, we need two adults. Um, we can't run it with, with one adult. If there's not a second adult, we can't run. We have to cancel. It's as simple as that. And the minimum I ask you to do is be in the class with me um, and to help me supervise. Um, if you do have skills or you go in training, I'd love you to deliver parts of the syllabus, syllabus and help me. Um, in the summer, um, maybe minibus driver or the second person in the minibus or travelling with the cadets. Um, help us on the water. And we use the Dock and Sailing Centre and we use the um, sea cadets. So helping um, and just chasing, chasing them around so we can get home. Um, if you've got any sailing experience, just send me a little bit of that. That'd be fantastic. Uh, we're part of the Marine Society and Sea Cadets, uh, which is jointly funded by the Ministry of Defence. Um, and because of that and their insurance, and we're covered with the MOD insurance, we need to work through their systems, which means even though you do have a DBS from somewhere else, we do need you to get a DBS through the Sea Cadets and MOD, because it's all done through their system and their paperwork, and we need to do a little bit of training for them, and I'll talk you through that. I'll send you what's called a P1 form, okay, on that P1 form, it will, um, you just need to fill this in. Let me just show you this form and it'll come up with something like this. You need the latest Adobe software and you might need to save it and reopen it. Sometimes it can be a bit of a bit confusing to try and open it. So then you need to open this. I've opened my P1 form. What do I need? Entry type. We want standard entry. It gives a drop down. So we'd like a standard entry unit. We are the Isle of Dogs. So just put in Told you, told you it wasn't as simple as it looked. I look down there, Isle of Dogs, Isle of Dogs unit, adult category, unit assistant. Okay, how did you hear about the Sea Cadets? Um, family and friends, and stick your title, your name, surname, um, details on there, have you served? They ask a few more questions and they go through, they ask the information on you. Um, contact details, address details, next to kin, and employment and referees. I need to give a referee one, referee two, and you need to fill in the forms for referees, and I'll send you, I'll show you where that, that is. Um, and we go through that, send that. I will then make a file for you on their um, Westminster computer system, um, and that information will go. And then you need to fill in some a uh, couple of references forms. Now we've talked about the P1. Fill that in. Send that to me. I can put it on file. Um, and then you need to start a DBS. So DBS, click on the link. Um, and go to the form. Start application. And put in the number MSSC85 in capital letters. Leave the password blank. Click enter. So let's go for it. So we have to go to start application, organization reference, MSSC85, password leave, leave blank, log in, and then you'll need to give your details. Go through that, um, and the DBS will be started. 
I will need two documents. It will tell you the documents in there. Um, passport, driving license, birth certificate, and the document with your name on. Um, send them to me. I'll send them to our host unit, and we'll get that sorted, and we'll get your DBS. And again, as I say, there is no cost um, for yourself, but it's really important that we get this DBS. Attach your email. There will be this document along with your P1, which you'll fill in and send back to me is the Defence Gateway Registration Guide for Induction and Renewal Courses. So what will it give you? You'll need to set up an account with Defence Gateway, which is the Ministry of Defence um, um, website. So you click on this link here, set up the account, and just go through the procedures here. So enter your details, put your details in here, and you will have an account, and it goes through on how to do it. Um, and then when you go through it will give you applications when you log on you get this defense gateway um, Click on the applications and you'll see these icons the ones interesting to you are the arrow going up which is the um, The volunteers portal and the learning portal so have a quick look at the volunteers portal have a flick flick through here You'll find your details um, on there on this one. They'll be mine So I don't need to update my details so it would go through inductions and renewals, rank progress, and all the other parts in there uh, that we can learn through. Um, if we go back, we can go to, back onto here, we can go to um, the learning. So we need to go through these. So on this one, it's important to go for courses, all courses, and then flick down the page and you will see cadet forces and then sea cadets so as a volunteer we need to go through these inductions and renewals this is there are other courses there if you'd like to do them working with young people juniors we don't have juniors in their unit um, specialization leadership and management unit management team um, multiple proficiencies but if we click on inductions and renewals We'll see what we need to do. So, if you're joining us as a new Sea Cadet volunteer, you're required to complete the induction, responsibility for information, safeguarding, and health and safety. Um, there's also a requirement to end a virtual safeguarding Zoom session. Um, you should receive a separate email inviting you to attend one, one once your DBS and references have been improved. So, we've booked one for the unit um, pretty soon. So, if you get this completed, you can join the other members of our unit and we can do that together. So adult induction, sea cadets responsible for information, sea cadets health and safety, unit management team, and safeguarding of sea cadets. These are pretty new, so it's different if you've done this before. These are new ones. Um, they're much better than the old ones. So you complete these, um, and then we'll be complete. So once you've done this, you've done your DBS, we've done our P2, we've done our um, virtual safeguarding, and we've done our references, you'll then be uh, a full um, volunteer with the sea cadets, so when the um, courses come around, if you want to learn to sail or windsurf at the Royal Docks, um, and go and do something fun with the sea cadets, you'll be fully enrolled. If you want to uh, accompany cadets to go and do competitions, you'll be fully enrolled with the DBS, and you can go and do that. And at those competitions and those events, um, you'll meet really exciting um, new people and lots of different things to do, and it gives you a whole new perspective, and it's a great, it's a great fun thing to do. Okay, well, thanks very much. I know it's long-winded. Um, any problems, just please ask me or email me, um, either through Spond or email me directly, paul at Um And hopefully, I'll see you soon. Thanks very much.